Number one mistake of intermediate players, this is going to be a very short video. They keep practicing like beginners. When we start up, we practice like in a, in, a, in a practice routine, right? We do some chords, we do some rhythm work, some strumming perhaps, we do a little bit of classical pieces or whatever that is. Uh, we do a lot of things, so we have that practice routine. When you get better and you get intermediate, you need focus. You need to take one thing and then focus on it for an entire month. That is going to give you foundations that you can stand on. When you're a beginner, you want to learn a little of everything so you keep yourself going and you're motivated and I can play that song. And it doesn't matter how well you play that song, basically. It matters whether you feel you can play that song because that motivates you to go for more. Once you get serious about really getting results, you want to make sure that you have a foundation to stand on. So, and that requires you to focus. So you have to focus on one thing. Let's say you, let's just, just to give you an example, right? You practice the first position minor pentatonic. And before that is second nature, you're already into doing the Dorian on top of it. Right? And you're trying to mix the two, but you can't really remember the pentatonic and you can't really remember the Dorian shape in the first position. But before you're even finished with that and you really have it in like the most natural thing in the world and you don't think about it anymore, you move on. Right? You move on before you get to that point and you, you're, you're already playing that across the neck. You learn all the five different shapes. That's the first thing we do. I did the same thing. You know, the pentatonic scale has five shapes. Good. Let me play them up and down and up and down. I had no foundation to stand on and then I mixed it with other scales. And after a year of doing that, I couldn't do it when I was playing a solo because none of it was, was fixed, right? It's like building a house on a foundation that isn't there. You build a foundation, but it's kind of wobbly. Then you take the next thing, put on top of that. That's also kind of wobbly. So now you have this thing. Most people who've been practicing for 10, 20 years have this multi-storage uh, level building that has wobbly elements standing on top of each other. And that's why they go point to the stars of music and say, oh, aren't they talented? While they have this wobbly building themselves, right? It's lack of focus. It's lack of saying, instead of having a practice routine, if I have a guy over here with a practice routine of, let's say, uh, five different things he practices every single day or she practices. Like practice some chords, practice some soloing, practice some scale shapes, practice some rhythm, practice some theory, whatever it is, right? Go back and forth between that in any given day. We have this everywhere on YouTube, the perfect practice routine. They do that every single day and they do that for 10 years, right? That's the practice routine. Then we have one guy who says, okay, I'm gonna focus on my technique for this month only. But underneath my technique, I'm gonna focus on alternate picking. Within alternate picking, I'm gonna focus on picking on one string. Within picking on one string with alternate picking, I'm gonna focus on playing triplets alone. Within that, I'm gonna focus on just picking. No, no left hand. Right? No left hand, just. That is focus, right? I'm gonna do that for an entire month, right? Then once I have that, I'm gonna build on that and add the next thing and the next thing. That every single time you do that, you, you're actually building a foundation you can stand on. You're making something so familiar that you can build on it. And that's talent. That's what's gonna make you progress. So that guy over here with the practice routine and then you who's focusing every month, maybe sometimes you have the same focus for three months, right? And, you, and some people say, ah, oh, but all the things I should have practiced, yeah, I'm not getting better at my chord work. I'm not getting better at my mel melodic work or my ear training because I'm practicing one thing for that, you know, three, I can't afford that. But I guarantee you, if you shift your, you're gonna learn all the same things as over here. It's just gonna take you longer to get to a higher level. But now you're building that higher level. This over here remains wobbly. 10 years after, you see that guy still not mastering this instrument because, because of lack of focus. Been practicing as much as this guy over here. So that whole argument with, but then Klaus, I can't practice courts and then I can't practice. No, if you, if you look at it from a perspective of, of six months, true, you're not going to get that much better playing courts if you don't practice them every day. So you, you focus, but over a longer period of time, you're going to progress insanely more than what this guy over here who still uses the beginner method of having that practice routine of multiple different focuses focuses uh, in a day. I hope this makes sense. This, this, uh, the reason why this makes so much sense for me is because it's the same across the board in every area of life, 
every walk of life. This is the same principle at work. That's why I give this house, you know, you can't build a house on a wobbly foundation without getting a wobbly house. Most people have a wobbly house, have a, a wobbly, uh, have wobbly skills because they're building on something that isn't completely home yet.